Hi there, welcome to Fusion Body Therapy. We're just going to do a follow up to our last uh, stretch, which is the supraspinatus. So this is a little simpler version to release it off. You don't have to lay on the floor, you can do it standing up. Um, we're just going to lock out a particular joint and come back up with our trunk. So from the front, it looks just like this. I'm going to do my right side, coming all the way through, as far as I can towards my left hip. Then I'm going to grab my wrist, pull it over, so I can feel there's no space in this pocket here. I'm going to bring my arm as far backwards as possible. So I'm going back, through, hold, even tilt, and bring your trunk back up. So I'm going to try and lock this out and don't move that arm at all. From there, you will feel it right through your shoulder. And if you tilt a little bit, you'll even sometimes, or depending if you're really tight, feel it all the way up into your scalene muscles up through here. Now from behind, it looks just like this. So we're going to retract, reach over for the opposite hip, grab with the wrist, hold it there, lock it in, tilt if you must, to get a really nice extension throughout your shoulder. Come back up, keep this hand as far down as you possibly can by locking it in there, until your body is straight and you're tilting all the way back to that left side. You will feel it deep into that shoulder. You will feel it stretching through your neck. Hold that for as long as possible. A good two to five minutes, if you possibly can. Um, if you can only hold it for a minute, that's great, but nothing less than 40 seconds. Remember, 40 seconds is the minimum amount for the stretch to start to occur. So you start at 40 seconds, and then it goes to a minute, and at least after that 40 seconds, you're gonna have a good 20 seconds of release. Okay, so that's our stretch for supersonitis. Try to keep it nice and short and sweet. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.